Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Um, I was just going to stop in and do a quick little video. Um, kind of bored to see what everybody's into this weekend. Um, if you hear any background noise or anything, my daughter's right over here um, watching Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Making a bunch of funny noises, crawling and getting into everything. So, um, yeah, it's Saturday. Um, me and her haven't been up too much today at all. We didn't even get up until 11. <laughs> So, um, we just been, kind of been around the house. We were around the house yesterday, too. Um, just got caught up in some laundry, and it's been a pretty boring weekend so far. Um, we are going to get out here in a few minutes, though, and uh, meet up with a friend, and so that'll be fun. But um, I wanted to do like a quick question um, for the other moms out there. Um, my daughter, Kira, got a pair of Petey Peds shoes and it's p-e-d-i-p-e-d-s pd pads and you can google it and look it up and they are adorable shoes um they've got all different kinds of styles for girls and for boys um and they're supposed to like assist them in helping them walk and they're like supposed to be super comfortable and easy for them to grow into um they have a neat sizing scale like my aunt got them for her for christmas and i think they were around like 38 or 40 dollars um they're adorable i'll show them to you but she's got them on right now and i don't want to make her mad but um this is the first time she's wore them because it's been cold and they're more of like a spring summer style and i mean she could wear them she could wear them anytime i mean if it's not real cold because like i've got socks on her right now but this is the first time i've put them on her and the only thing i don't like about them is they're kind of slick on the bottom like they don't have any tread and like she was she likes to stand at the entertainment center and like hold herself up there and you know watch tv and play and stuff and it's like she's like ice skating <laughs> and i feel bad because like they're so cute but i don't want her to bust her face you know from having them on so i didn't know if any of you other moms had heard of these shoes or if your child had you know had a pair and i, I mean kira she's almost at that walking phase like she'll take like four or five steps and then sit down so she's so close like she can walk she just hasn't built the confidence yet so you know she'll and she, she mainly does it when nobody's paying attention like she'll walk from like the coffee table to the couch or from you know the couch to the entertainment center so I mean she'll walk short distances but not you know a long she hasn't just taken off yet but you know I really wanted to be able to get good use out of these shoes because they're adorable and you know they were a really cute thoughtful Christmas present from my aunt and I mean she I'm, I'm hoping that it's just because she's not real steady on her feet yet but if any of you other moms out there have have tried these shoes um, let me know what you thought about them you know let me know how your kid did with them because all of Kira's shoes are like boots and like tennis shoes so these are completely different um, they're just they're almost like a little sandal but they're made out of like a leather material and they've got like sparkly they're brown and they've got like sparkly pink flowers on them but they're adorable and they're so cute so I'm really hoping she'll do okay with them and not hurt herself <laughs> but um yeah I've just kind of been out of sorts the last couple of days um I just had a lot on my mind friend stuff going on it's just I've just kind of been out of it for a couple of days and then my husband's been gone on a training mission and he's been gone like two weeks so it's just been me and my daughter and I mean I've been trying to keep us super busy so we're not just sitting around all the time with nothing to do so I mean we've been out we've met up with friends and you know got out in town and we've tried to get out a lot you know so we're not just sitting around but it's just been kind of lame which luckily my mom's coming down um, for a visit this coming week so that'll be nice just having an adult here you know not just being me and my daughter so I'm, I'm ready for her to get here and have some mommy mama cure time but um, I'm gonna jump off here um, like I said I'm getting ready getting me and her ready to head out here in a few minutes but I'll record again in a couple of days but um yeah let me know how y'all's weekends going and 
Definitely. If any of you all have used these shoes, I'm, I'm dumbfounded by these shoes. I just, I don't know. But yeah, Google it. PD Peds. And like I said, they have boys and girls and all different styles. And they're just so cute. I'm just, I'm worried. I don't want her to get hurt in them. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'll, I'll update again in a few days. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend. And I do want to do a little shout out. Um, we have a lot of units, or we have several units coming home from very long deployments here at Camp Lejeune this weekend. Um, I think most of them have been gone close to a year and that's a really long time and I know from experience my husband last year was gone for right at 11 months on a deployment to Afghanistan and it's really really rough. Um, several of my neighbors I've seen this morning are out hanging up their signs um, welcome their husbands and the daddy's home and they've got their yellow ribbons out and you know it, that's really exciting. Um, it, it's always heartwarming you know, to know that our troops are coming home. And it's an all-the-time thing here at Camp Lejeune because there's always, you know, units leaving and coming back. And But it never gets old seeing those welcome home signs and knowing, you know, that families are getting ready to be reunited. As a Marine wife and as somebody who's, you know, endured three deployments with my husband, and I know how excited I was when my husband came home from every deployment, especially this last one, it was the longest he'd ever been away. And he come home to our five week old daughter that he got to meet for the first time. So it's just, I definitely want to send out my congrats and my thank yous to all of the troops, the Marines, sailors, all of them and their families for the sacrifice that they've made. I, I know how that is and I just welcome them all home. So I just wanted to throw that in there, but, um, I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will talk to you all again in a couple of days. Bye.